and uh, well if you guys can hear me just uh, let me know so that we can continue okay uh, if you guys can hear me just drop a comment and let me know so that we can uh, well you know get started and talk about a uh, little bit of gaming little bit of entertainment and uh, you know take it from there so this live is essentially uh, mostly we wanted to do a q and a hello hello yes yes okay some of you guys comments are popping up that's great um, thank you so much for uh, joining the live session. This is essentially a Q&A about, uh, you know, any questions that you have about a gaming and home entertainment setup. And I thought the best way to do this would be to walk you through something that I have as a setup, which I have built for some time now. So this is an LG OLED TV. It's the B9, but that's not the only thing right out here. What we also have is a Yamaha soundbar. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. It's the little black bar right in front out here and that's the subwoofer right there if you guys want to see something specific let me know and yes there's of course the rare unicorn that very few people get to see these days which is a playstation 5. so um i just thought we could have a quick chat about uh gaming and entertainment because you know the past year a lot of people have spent a lot of time at home and uh, you know a lot of people who have been able to afford one have spent some time you know with a new television or a new home theater just to enhance their home entertainment experience and while this is a smart tv with you know smart capabilities of apps if you notice one of the things that's there on screen right now is a fire tv stick and that's because you know no matter how smart your tv is what is your view on ps4 is what uh, rhythm is asking I think it's still a fantastic console. If you have one, you really don't need to upgrade to a PS5 right now. Uh, we can just switch to the uh, PS5 UI to show you guys that just in case that's something you're interested in checking out. Uh, but you see, apart from Demon Souls, uh, which released with the console and maybe a game like Returnal, which is releasing in some time now. Okay, that got a little loud if you guys heard it. I'm just going to put the volume down. And, uh, you know, Returnal is another game that's coming out, which is exclusive to the PS5, um, Ratchet and Clank. So Sony does have a few exclusives to entice gamers to get the PS5, but the PS4 is still going to get Horizon Forbidden West, which will release uh, later this year. They don't have a date announced yet. So, you know, the PS4 is a console that's still growing strong. If you have it, you could last it for this year and maybe till next year because it still has a good life. You've probably not played all the great games that are there to play on that. Maybe your friends are still playing on the PS4 in case you're playing Warzone uh, with your friends. So it's still a great console uh, to have. And uh, so let me tell you guys again that, you know, the purpose of this chat is to answer all your questions. I'm going to do my best to answer them. So if you have any uh, questions, just let me know. Uh, keep typing them in the comments. We will do our best to answer them. So here's one of the, which TV is this? Uh, uh, Israr is asking, Israr, this is the LG B9. It's an OLED TV. Um, and, you know, it's, uh, well, it's it's a great TV. It has its pros. It has its cons as well. One, one of them I would like to tell you. Now, I don't know whether this is a problem with Hotstar or the way LG works with its app partners. But this is something that I want to show you guys real quick. And it's the only problem I have with this otherwise great TV. The resolution that you guys may be seeing this live stream on may not be the best. But, uh, you know, so let's say Falcon and the Winter Soldier is there on Hotstar and on the TV's native app, I can only see it in 1080p. Uh, if you guys have a Fire TV stick or an Android TV, you will notice this difference. Now, I'm actually going to switch the input and you're going to notice some differences out here. I'm going to switch the input to HDMI 4, which actually has my Fire TV stick on it. And uh, if I go back and let's say open uh, Hotstar, it is going to uh, show me that one key difference, which is right there on the top left. You can see it says 4 UHD Dolby Vision and 5.1 sound. So that is the the native app on the 5 TV stick really doesn't give you 
uh, that option. Um, the native app on the TV doesn't give you that option. I need to resort to an external device like a Fire TV stick for something like this. So that's that's one of the qualms that I have with this TV. Uh, apart from that, its performance is absolutely brilliant when it comes to picture and even sound. Just Frame Deep says, I have checked your review regarding Hisense TV and I'm looking forward to getting one soon down the line. Would you recommend it over others considering the price and features it boots? Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, if the Hisense TV is in your budget, it's a great option for the price. In fact, from when we reviewed the TV till today, the price has actually gone down. So, um, <clears throat> but let's say if you want, if you're someone that's looking to game and has a new console, then you may want to look at something like the Mi QLED TV for about 55,000 rupees because that has HDMI 2.1, making it a little more future proof. Uh, if you're okay with an, if you're okay with just having, uh, you know, uh, entertainment as your thing, OTT, then yes, uh, it has a great UI. It's just the native Android TV UI. And overall for its price, it's actually a pretty decent performer. Uh, however, if you could just let us know what your price is, uh, budget is, and certain features that you're looking for, maybe we can offer you a different recommendation. So uh, does BIOS update risk? Uh, what risk are you talking about? Have you faced an OLED burn-in issue is what uh, Soumya is asking. Well, Soumya, actually, I haven't. Uh, let's see how many hours I have used this TV for. That is some information that we can actually take a look at and know because my usage is actually quite uh, varied. So uh, OK, I've been using uh, the other. Uh, we've been reviewing another LG TV in office, and there the information is under different tabs. LG keeps changing a few things here and there. So 1,080 hours, if you guys can see, there it is. 1,080 hours is what I have used this TV for, and no burn-in issue. Many a times I have left it on the home screen of a console for a few hours. If I've just stepped out for something, it usually automatically dims the screen a little bit. So no, no burn-in issues, yes. So just Frame Deep says, I have checked your review regarding Hisense TV. Oh, I think I just answered this one. And how to do it on MSI motherboard? Well, uh, we're going to have to answer that question in uh, another uh, live because today we're talking about home entertainment setup. So if you have a question regarding that, you can let us know. Omkar says Dolby Atmos demo via eARC. Well, this TV does have eARC, but unfortunately, the soundbar that I have here, this is the Yamaha YAS209. And this is just a DTS Virtual X soundbar. And honestly, it just works best when it is in stereo mode. So even if I give you guys a sound demo right now, we're doing this live via a webcam. And the webcam really isn't going to give you the best audio experience. So how about you ask us a question regarding Dolby Atmos or eARC, and we can do that. So if your budget is under 50K, then I think uh, just frame deep your uh, options with the Hisense TV is actually a pretty good option. And um, you know, let's uh, why don't you just check that one out? I think it should serve your purposes quite well. I believe they released an updated uh, variant as well. I'm, I think you're talking about the uh, A51, A71F is the model number, if I remember it correctly. But yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's a good one. You can consider it. Which five games do you recommend for PS4? Because uh, I got it just last month. Well, uh, Rhythm Baba, you can probably start with Let's see, we have a pretty decent catalog of PS4 games out here as well. This is a library that I have built. So let's look at uh, platforms and let's just limit it to PS4. So you should definitely play Ghost of Tsushima out here. It is a brilliant game. God of War, another brilliant one. Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, if you like indie games, Hollow Knight is one that I definitely love. Last of Us Part 1 and 2 are absolutely brilliant. Horizon Zero Dawn is another option. In case I'm going too fast, you can always go back and revisit this live. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Metal Gear Solid, if you're into stealth espionage games, you will definitely enjoy it. Uncharted 4, Uncharted Lost Legacy also come to mind. Uh, I have played a lot of indie games, so I really enjoy them. Uh, you could try out Mortal Kombat 11 as well. Mad Max is one of those games which is just, I just enjoyed it. You know, it's not the best game out there, but it's still a lot of fun. Um, 
yeah uncharted collection if you really want to go through the first three games which came out on the ps3 and then play uncharted 4 which came out for the uh, ps4 which is this one then you have uncharted lost legacy as well so i guess those are a good number of games to start with marvel spider-man is also great miles morales is great i really like resident evil 3 it's not the longest game out there but it is still a lot of uh, fun to play the witcher 3 if you just want to spend one year playing just one game you should definitely check out witcher 3 wild hunt this is one game you will play for a very very long time apart from that there are a lot of games from uh you know ratchet and clank to so many more that one could recommend i hope that answers your question okay just frame deep says i'm particularly concerned about agr 10 and dolby vision clarity especially from uh netflix and other ott platforms well you see that's the thing uh a lot of these TVs where they have a compromise on the panel is with the brightness and with the contrast. Now, these two are really important to get HDR. So if you have a panel which goes up to 400 nits of brightness, it is at the lowest bar of acceptability for HDR. But then the contrast ratio is also equally important to show you that if there's a sun shining into a warehouse and the scene is showing you the darkest corner along with the brightest area that the sun is shining on, you should be able to see the details in the brightest area and the darkest area with equal clarity. That's contrast ratio. And that, unfortunately, is another area where budget TVs compromise. But considering your budget, this TV should get the job done so far. I mean, uh, we can always look at other options if you know, you're know you open to maybe increasing your budget a little bit or if, you, if, if you're okay with a smaller size TV uh, at a slightly higher price point. So you could always uh, let us know about that. Ideal viewing distance of 55 inch TV. Honestly, it depends on which TV it is because this 55 inch OLED in front of me, I sit about four to five feet away from it. And I think it's the perfect viewing distance. But then again, it is because this TV can give me a lot of clarity. If you have a 55 inch TV and uh, you could sit up to six, six and a half feet, seven feet away also to get a pretty good viewing experience. Of course, lower resolution content, the fidelity reduces the closer you are. But if it's 1080p or higher and you have a good quality television in front of you, you should be able to enjoy uh, it from about five to six feet away. It also depends on the kind of sound system you have set up. So uh, Samsung, OK, so Ganesh says Samsung Frame TV can deliver Dolby Atmos sound with Sony HDX 8500 soundbar. Yes, it can. If you connect it to the ER port, which the frame has, it will. Will get a PS5 Pro when available. I personally don't like gadgets and electronics. I personally don't like gadgets and electronics in white. Okay, so maybe you could get one of those, you know, custom face plates for it. But yeah, I mean, it makes sense. If Sony ever releases a PS5 Pro right now, uh, you know, considering how good the console is, I'm not sure if a Pro would be necessary so soon. Uh, simply because when the PS4 came out, it was anyways an underpowered PC in a box for, you know, with the Jaguar CPU that it had. But the PS5 has set a new benchmark for the baseline of hardware. So I'm not sure if a Pro really makes sense at this point, especially considering how powerful both the next-gen consoles are. And if you uh, read what developers are saying, they haven't even scratched the surface of what these machines can do yet. So... What should be the internet speed to play online games without facing issues? Well, Rhythm, if you have a wired connection, even a, a 10 Mbps or a 20 Mbps connection should be more than enough. Uh, I have personally gamed on in the good old days when Airtel had an 8 Mbps connection where the upload was barely 1 to 2 Mbps. I still managed to play online games without a hitch because my console at the time, which was a PS3, was connected via Ethernet. So. Just make sure you're connected via Ethernet and even a slightly lower speed should be good. But I'd say for safety, 20, 25 Mbps connection should do you justice quite easily. Sony X90J versus the LG C1, which is better for movies and media consumption? Well, uh, Prateek, both these are actually new models. And I believe the uh, Sony X90J that you're talking about is an LED TV, but the LG C1 is an OLED. And we are actually looking forward to getting both uh, our hands on both these TVs because uh, we think that, you know, OLED panels have kind of stagnated with panel technology for the past few years. And this will be the first year where we will see, you know, newer uh, panel technology with uh, LG's Evo series offering higher brightness. And we think some of that technology might trickle down to the lower models like the C1 or even the B1. But that's something that time will tell once we get our hands on this TV or once, you know, some international reviews start popping out. As for the Sony X90J, it has the new processor from Sony, and we're really looking forward to seeing that because Sony's X1 Ultimate is 
kind of an old workhorse it has been it, it's the same old processor trying to process newer picture qualities so it's going to be very interesting to see what sony's new processor has up its sleeve because there's one thing sony does really well it's their triluminous displays and usually their 4k hdr processors in their televisions are actually really good i would love to play these games that recommended well rhythm absolutely go ahead you should definitely enjoy them maybe you could buy physical copies or if you have friends that are gaming with you you could buy one your friends could buy one and then you could just trade them once you've played it it could make uh the gaming experience a lot more economical omkar says i just want to know that if me qled tv can pass atmos audio format through e acquire tv's inbuilt netflix app if yes can you please make a demo later yes it can omkar we have confirmed this with the shami we did not have a dolby atmos enabled soundbar at the time which is why we spoke to them and they confirmed it for us unfortunately the tv has gone back to xiaomi so we can't really make a demo of it but you know we are working on a review of the realme uh, uh, tv that was recently launched realme no sorry redmi tv damn these names the redmi tv that was recently launched and uh, that also supports e arc through pass through and we're definitely going to try to get that if we can source a dolby atmos enabled soundbar in time uh, for that Yeah, well, I might just extend my budget to sixty k. Any good alternatives? Well, I will wait for PS Five and Black. Okay, yes, I think a lot of people are waiting. Um, for sixty k, there are actually a few options one can consider. Uh, are you okay with uh, changing the size of the TV? Is a question that I would ask then, because if you want fifty five inches, are you okay with something that's a little smaller? You guys have a PS Five, cries in a corner. Oh, Nikhil, I'm so sorry. when can we expect the ps5 well the lal zuala if i'm saying that correctly you can expect one hopefully in april i mean sony can't ignore india much longer the international market has seen some form of restocks but yes there is a chip shortage and we can expect the consoles to be in short supply for the first half of this year which is about 3 or 4 more months so save that money Somia says Sami does 120 FPS gaming on the console is realistic. Uh let's let's try to bring one of them up out here and uh show you guys. So if I can just open up Dirt 5 and let's 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 try put putting this game in its 120 FPS mode uh Somia just for you and I'm really sorry if the you know there's a bit of uh haloing and blooming that's not exactly what i'm looking at it's crystal clear from my end this is the camera so don't judge what you're seeing uh we're going i'm going to show you the high frame rate mode on this and let's see uh if you can you can say it i'm just going to reduce the volume so that you guys can hear me okay best laptop to buy with 30 3000 series gpu Hmm that is a question for our laptop expert and maybe we can do a live on that later on if you guys want to know let us know we'll do it oh redmi tv atmos demo will help a lot omkar okay so we'll definitely do our best to try to get that 50 inch is fine for me also dolby atmos can never replace a true uh, surround home theater in a box just frame you know there is a samsung i believe is the q950 uh, the sound bar that is supposed to be a great dolby atmos sound bar from what i have heard So you know it's it's definitely they are getting close. They might not be able to replace it, but it is definitely something uh, worth checking out. Okay, so I'm just going to do a simple race, and uh, before we do that, we are going to get into the settings so I can show it to you guys. Now we have priority image quality, which of course has the resolution. I'm not sure if you guys can read it. The next one says a uh, priority resolution. Sorry this is the one which focuses on the resolution and this the reason the screen went blank is it takes a couple of seconds for you to come into the frame rate mode there's nothing wrong with this it happens on a lot of TVs and we are going to prioritize a uh, frame rate now of course uh, you guys are probably going to see this in a lower resolution out here but I'm going to do my best to talk you through uh, the 120 fps mode performance and I can give you a shorter answer right now but let's let's give you guys a couple of uh, minutes of gameplay so you guys can maybe make out what uh, you know your views are on 120 fps I already got hit now I have played a lot of games especially on the new console in 30 fps and 60 fps now control is a great example the ultimate edition of a game running in uh, 30 fps with ray tracing and 60 fps without ray tracing 
Spider-Man Miles Morales has a RT performance mode, which is essentially ray tracing at 1080p, um, and I think and at 60 FPS. And I think that's great if these consoles can achieve that visual fidelity. Then most definitely nothing like it. Now we are playing in the frame rate mode. I am sitting about five feet from my TV, maybe a little less than that actually. And honestly, I can make out the details of my car really well. I can also make out, uh, you know, I mean, yes, if you stop to look at the fine print, you are going to notice some texture issues here and there, some low resolution shadows. But considering this is a racing game and you need to be moving fast, you need to be on your toes all the time, you need to be navigating. And the fact that my car and the, you know, AI controlled opponent cars are well in resolution. See, I'm not sure if you can make out that stutter there with the name of the car in front. So there is things to notice in the high frame rate mode. Again, this is a TV that supports HDMI 2.1 and has full 48 uh, uh, Gbps bandwidth. So that is also something to consider. But yes, uh, 120 FPS may be a dream for some smaller titles, maybe some indie titles, but definitely not for AAA games. And I think if AAA games like the big budget ones can achieve 60 FPS with some pretty good visual fidelity. We are really good on this generation because another game that I have out here, which would take me a while to show you guys is Devil May Cry 5, which also has high frame rate mode. It has a high frame rate and ray tracing mode as well, but the frame rates don't go really very high in that. So hopefully that should answer uh, your question. Okay, not into PC gaming, but what do you think about Apple M1 chip? Should I go for MacBook Air M1 with a higher storage or MacBook Pro M1? Well, honestly, it depends on your workload. Uh, again, this is a question for our PC expert, but as far as I can tell, the MacBook Air with the M1 chip doesn't really have any form of cooling in terms of a fan, so it may throttle at high performance apps, whereas the MacBook with M1 Pro, it also has a bit of a difference in the CPU spec, if I'm not mistaken. But again, that's a question for uh, our laptop expert. So why don't you leave that uh, as a comment in, uh, you know, in one of our YouTube videos, and I'm sure someone will definitely get back to you. Omkar says, is it worth to buy a Tata Sky binge? Well, are you talking about the binge Fire TV stick, which was there, or the binge Android box? Because both of them serve a very different purpose. Uh, you know, so maybe you want to uh, Clarify that. Also, I'm driving really badly because I'm trying to read these comments off my computer as well. Excuse us, said we don't have to edit live option in chat. What? Okay. So that was a lot of questions that we've answered for all of you that are watching. If you guys want to see uh, something else, oh, these are the activity cards, of course, that come. Uh, you know, when you are playing a game. Let's uh, close this game. Maybe let's see if we can fire up DMC and show you guys the settings again. This took a second to uh, change back because, you know, it's coming back to the lower frame rate. And I just built a new PC with a 3900. X59 is overpriced at the moment and 32 GB of RAM, G-Scale, 3600 MHz. I will replace my old ones. New cards are available at reasonable cost. Well, yeah, I mean, if you are someone that is into PC gaming, then, I mean, you are definitely getting some of the best visual fidelity that you can get. But honestly, console gaming has its own charm. So I've been a console gamer ever since the days of the NES. I have gamed on a PC as well, but the convenience of the console just Nothing beats that. Binge DTH is what uh, Onkar says. Yes, well, uh, if you have the Tata Sky uh, binge, uh, once you know, okay. Uh, if you are getting the Android box, then why not? You're getting the best of both worlds, you know, a traditional set top box and a smart TV experience. And it's kind of a good option if you're someone that consumes a lot of traditional media as uh, well. So, mm, kind of helps if you you know are going to have someone in the family that's going to watch tv and then you're probably going to uh, watch you know your ott content on it so it gives you the best of both worlds i have a me tv 4a pro and a ps4 good or should i upgrade that tv well uh, rhythm it depends on uh, what you want to upgrade to and what's your budget and what are you really looking for because sometimes the price of a good mid-range tv which is about 40 50 thousand uh, rupees, then you can always go in for a better monitor if, if gaming is a primary purpose. You know, you'll get a good 1080p 60 monitor at that same price point, uh, 24 to 27 inches, which should get your uh, job done. Oh, recommend, but the 
TV was in game mode when I, it is in game mode. See, it says game mode right there on the left. Depending on the angle you were from, we recommend playing or directly facing the screen. Okay. So again, see, this is great. It shows the maximum luminance of the TV, 750 nits, which is about right. Adjust until the internal brightness matches the external brightness. This is, of course, something that you guys will not be able to see, but I can, and it goes all the way up to 1,150. Damn. So the reason it goes so bright and it clips at a certain point is you need to tell the game that this is the clipping point for the TV's brightness. And beyond this, bright highlights will just look burnt, which is why this setting pops up in case you guys are interested. I mean, low price, good quality TV. Well, uh, Rhythm, you're going to have to tell me a couple of things. The screen size you want, what's your budget, what's your primary use case? Does it have to be a smart TV? Is it primarily for gaming? What are you looking for? So, okay, move the white part to adjust the light versus dark blue, red area, balance default position recommended. Okay, so I think we're going to leave it at this because these bars were adjusted too far and we're going to leave it at this tutorial display on auto transition off turbo off. Yeah. Okay. Or monitor must support a refresher or higher to enable high refresh rate. Okay. Yes. Ray tracing. Let's leave it on. So I'm not sure if this can show you, but this is a great example of showing you the difference between ray tracing on and off. Um, this enables ray tracing at 1080p. Choose this if you want to enhance lighter reflections without heavily taxing the system. High frame rate mode on. Let's see if we can put this on. I mean, this is going to be absolutely crazy, but let's 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 leave it on performance and high frame rate on. So network on, spoiler filter on, 3D audio, headphones are strongly recommended. Let's not do that for now. Let's go with Devil Hunter and leave the auto assist off. OK, um, just frame deep says, I am a PlayStation loyalist and have been gaming since the arcades. PC is basically a cherry on top. Also, my profession requires a hefty workstation. I love gaming on them both. Well, that's great. Have you considered an Xbox or maybe Xbox Game Pass? You know, that could, you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to spice up the conversation here. Only for gaming. Well, only for gaming rhythm, then I suggest you look at a good monitor because even with a PS4, I remember when before I upgraded to a TV, I had a BenQ monitor, which was a great 1080p. It was actually the best buy at the Digit Zero One Awards back when, uh, you know, the, uh, the PS4 was launched and I got it. And in those days, I spoke to the head of our test center and I was like, I need a monitor for gaming. And my priority is... Uh, you know, okay. My priority is just to game on a PS4 and the PS4 was basically a 30 FPS machine. So I went in for a good 1080p monitor with 60 FPS, a 60 Hertz refresh rate. And it, that was the best experience. Uh, later on, I mean, I the headphones had, the monitor had a headphones out, so I would connect my headphones. And then later on, I went and got a nice pair of speakers to connect to the monitor via 3.5 mm. Actually, I remember correctly, I had the Klipsch Pro Media 2.1 for the longest time, which were a great pair of speakers. And that monitor speaker setup lasted me for nearly five, six years before I upgraded to a TV. So Rhythm, I highly recommend you look at a monitor and speaker setup instead of a TV for gaming, because you'll benefit with input lag as well. Augustine says, what about TCL 5565 OLED? Looking for something affordable. Uh, TCL's OLEDs aren't available in India, you know? So mm, that's a bummer. Bro, Mobi Quick data leak. Yes, Vasu, you can go check out the story on digit.in as well. So we've, we've already covered that. And uh, just frame deep says, and I must admit, you are the best tech reviewer on YouTube, and the detail analysis you do is organic. Thank you so much, just frame deep. I really appreciate that. It is for you guys that I always do this, and uh, you know your feedback, even your criticism, or even if you want us to cover something specific, do let us know. Even though we have time and resources are limited, we do do our best to you know get as much of the content that you guys need to know which is from a buyer's perspective which is you know from the consumer's perspective so that's that's the mission and i'm glad that it's being appreciated spread the word man we need our youtube channel to grow so just frame deep help spread the word 
I mean, QLED. Yeah, so the panel performance of the QLEDs of TCL are actually pretty good. If you're looking at the higher end one, which is the C815, or not the C715, which was launched last year. Actually, you can wait till May. I believe it's May or June when the uh, C725 and the C85 will launch. Last year's models had a bit of lag with the Android UI. So maybe you guys can, you know, look at uh, investing in a Fire TV stick. So yeah, the TCL QLEDs are pretty decent for the price. Okay, so this is high frame rate. Now, this is a game where it is absolutely very easily noticeable that this is beyond 60 FPS. I wish there was a way for me to show it to you. But yeah, I just, I just you know, it, it does look really good. So I'm not sure if you guys can make it out, but yeah. This is one game where it, I'm actually waiting to get into the city. Ah! city part of it so that we can have a look at you know the ray trace reflections or maybe we can see some of the puddles out here but yes we can but again like we said it was a little light that we had put the settings on so it's not really that visible sure i would keep it in mind can you tell me some settings in the ps4 that will give the best output for the product just leave all the picture settings on auto uh, especially when you're on a budget tv the playstation does a great job at identifying it so as far as display settings are concerned, leave it all on auto. If there's something, if there's a specific setting you're looking at, maybe let us know. Uh, it depends. Now, if you have a budget HDR TV, you may want to switch HDR off on the PlayStation because uh, sometimes the SDR picture can give you a better image than HDR, especially on a budget TV. So that is most definitely something uh, to keep in mind. Hold on. Okay, so don't mind if I'm playing bad because I'm actually trying to read the comments as well. Uh, what's your opinion on the new OnePlus 9 series, regular OnePlus 9 or uh, the Pro? Well, honestly, it depends on, again, what your requirement is. Both are trying to target a different, uh, slightly different audience, maybe uh, pull back on some features, which some may be okay compromising on. It's just like the iPhone 12, 12 Pro, 12 Pro Max. So, you know, it... it I mean, it's OnePlus. They're going to give you probably the best Android user experience. Why don't you go check out our review? And we have this really nice detailed comparison of the camera and the display on YouTube. Maybe you'll enjoy that, uh, Vivek. You go check it out. Just frame deep. I have been reading Digit Magazine since my childhood. Used to get them for game demos. You know the 256 kbps BSNL era, right? Believe me, you know, that meme of we were born in the darkness of lag. Yeah, I was there. I was there when I had to go to a friend's house to access the internet for everything. And it took years before even the most basic dial-up connection came to my house. I'm not sure how many of you guys had to go buy the SIFI CD, which would sell you some 20 hours of internet that you had to go and purchase, you know? So yeah, I remember those days. I adore Capcom games, have finished DMC5 and now looking forward to Resident Evil 8. Yes, well, Resident Evil 7 was actually one of those games that gave me sleepless nights. So I am also looking forward to Resident Evil 8. When Logitech is launching the successor to the Z625 uh, or Z906, they are in the market for quite some years. Do you guys have any news? No news on a successor, but yes, the Z90, I think it was the 905 that was a predecessor to the 906 and the 906 came with some uh updates i can't remember exactly what but yes i know the speaker sets you're talking about it was definitely something thank you says vivek most welcome oh yes sifi for all the wrong reasons well just frame deep this is pg-13 we are talking here so i don't know what you're talking about you know it's not really coming to my attention but having said that yep i mean it used to be a task I, and nobody could use the landline when you were connecting to those dial-up connections you know so most definitely it was, yeah, I remember the era that you are talking about. Okay, so if I have answered all your questions, I'm quickly going to quit this game because I've been looking at the screen more uh, at the laptop where I'm doing this live from more than the game and just been button mashing. So do not judge my gaming skills based on that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this live session. Uh, stay tuned to Digit. We are going to do a lot more content. If you guys have any, any, anything that you would like to know about televisions, about home theaters, uh, about laptops, about phones, about gaming, about anything under the sun, do leave us a comment on some of our videos. 
we do our best to reply to as many of them you can always write in to us leave us a message on facebook on twitter you can follow us on instagram as well we're on all the platforms and you know it was it was great talking to you guys thank you for all the comments thank you for all the questions vivek says one another i am in fix to decide best paid vpn services in india hmm that's actually a very interesting question we've been looking at a few options ourselves i believe tunnel bay gives you a little bit of a free trial there are a few more uh one of the name leaves my mind one which i have seen but yeah uh that's a good question just frame deep uh, i will wait for your more reviews on tvs yes absolutely we have a few of them in the pipeline a few that i am working on uh, you should see them as soon as next week uh, hopefully if i can commit to that um but yeah thank you so much guys for uh, joining us for this live session it was great chatting with you guys as always leave us a comment uh, and of course because you guys love our content so much please help us grow on youtube share our videos like our videos subscribe to the channel it all helps us in ways i cannot express and thank you so much for your support everywhere you guys are a great audience and i will do my best to get you guys more tv reviews thank you so much uh, for watching this and it's goodbye for now